So YouTube family, I wanted to talk about something today. Deion Sanders calls out on three sports, but not really calls them out. He got in a back and forth. Well, really one guy, Shannon Terry of on three sports, the CEO after the reporter by the name of Phillips Duke was fired. Now, this is Philip Dukes right here. What was weird was he was fired after visiting Boulder, Colorado. And I've showed you passages in different times how on three sports does not like Colorado football. We've showed you receipts after receipts, but let's show you some more who Phillips Dukes is. All right, so as a lifelong Hawks fan, I know for a fact that the Hawks always do some you know what when it comes to when it's really, really important. Tonight right. is one of those nights. Now, on the flip side of that, I also know as an Atlantan, there is a term that we use when people shoot the ball a whole lot called wheeling. They got two wheelers in the backcourt. <laughs> Dante Murray and Trey Young. So that means that I'm going with the over for the Hawks over 110 tonight because those guys will be outside wheeling. You better Will believe it. Postpone. We can take it to the numbers. That's what this draft should be. <laughs> you need to wait till next year. First of all, the Hawks got the number one pick in the least number one picky draft <laughs> in the history of the NBA. Oh, it's just on par for the Hawks. That's all it is. I mean, you got a guy. Now, Deion Sanders had some questions for On3 Sports about Phillips Duke's departure from the On3 Sports brand because Dion, like many other people who speaks of Philip Dukes, he is gracious towards people. He shows proper decorum. So Dion just simply wrote something about being inquisitive, inquisitive to what happened to Philip Dukes. So that would start Dion with this response to Duke the Scoop and On3 Sports. He said, what's really going on, my man, at Duke's the Scoop is a free agent I just heard. This young brother is truly talented, smart, relational, and will work his butt off. Network and media outlets, please check him out at On3 Sports. What's really going on? God bless you, my brother hashtag coach prime now sanders being coach prime you guys read what he wrote the on three sports into philip dukes he just wanted to know what's going on with the guy that he likes the guy who is the only brother from on three sports that actually speaks good about denver colorado so well boulder colorado that is i apologize so this is going to be the response of on three sports ceo shannon terry now we never made this about race prime neither he's just asking a question what's going on with the good brothers so the ceo of on three sports this is how i know they have something towards dion and they couldn't wait to respond because no one thought this was a race issue he just thought the brother got fired which he did and wanted to know what happened with that now the ceo tells dion sanders with all due respect as my mother and father told me growing up mind your own plate dukes and i had a great conversation this morning about what was best for on three in his career we are good and have a plan knock it off dude when people are let go and this happens and let's say if philip dukes did decide to leave i know philip's dukes was probably seen as on three sports not a place where he can grow because of their dealings you know what i mean but fast forward before i play the video coach prime is a guy that really was asking a certain question but he makes these people and evokes their worst ways because this guy had to just say my mom and father just like jay norvell at colorado state i've noticed these guys go into this dietary of my mother and my father just to be obnoxious and how i know this had to be a race matter what ceo of a weak platform such as on three would come out and make an announcement that quick for something that was just a question and it was not even towards the ceo maybe the other staff writers could have write that he just wanted to know because the ceo of on three sports feels guilty and where does a, a a hit dog barks the loudest ladies and gentlemen you found your answer so i'm about to go in on this video smash the like button i'm your guy dj bless one the best one I see the jealousy and hate. I see the jealousy and hate. Fuck that shit, you gon' be straight. Hold up, hold up. I see the jealousy and hate. But I got shit up on my face. I see the jealousy and hate. I've been pushed so many times.
amazing content 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 uh make sure you subscribe to this channel subscribe to this channel because we're on a mission to get him a million subscribers before the season starts we need a million a million subscribers and if you subscribe and get somebody else to subscribe we will eclipse that quickly quickly i mean quickly but if you do that and you prove to us that you've done that we're gonna give you a call okay mm. we'll give you a call we'll do that we'll make that happen or we'll go live Deion Sanders go out his way to defend on three sports reporter Phillips Duke who was fired now there's a lot of controversy surrounding him being fired and why Deion Sanders had to defend him you guys are gonna love this and you're gonna feel some type of way so smash that like button hit that notification bell let's go forward with what I got to talk about man smash the like button right now so on three sports i've always told you was a lower leveled wannabe rivals.com and scouts.com even espn has better scouting and report nope we can't say that no more because stephen a smith and espn their sources is on three sports which makes it hot garbage but on three sports the group of scouting agencies that have i have shown proof don't do their homework they don't know anything going on in the football world of things. They hijack other sources such as mines and other people's hard work who cover the college sports world. And that's what they use for their breaking news. They don't break any news at all. So their CEO, Shannon Terry, or Terry Shannon, let me, let me look at his name. I wrote the scrub's name. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to edit these videos for you guys too to insert the receipts. But Shannon Terry, the racist, you heard me out loud. So let's go deeper on this story since you already hit the like button. And I know you guys rock with me. So what, what's going on? Deion Sanders defends Philip Dukes, the reporter who got fired by On3 Sports. And what's weird is he got fired after visiting Boulder and going down there and rocking out with Deion Sanders in Colorado. Now, I've always told you On3 Sports are heavily against Colorado. They go out their way to spew negative connotations on them they talk down to Deion Sanders in a condescending tone as if because of their skin complexion they're far greater well, they always cases me they do some little white boy the other night I was working and caught me in the hallway Paul I've seen your show I love what you do man but you make me feel so guilty must everything be race I said yes everything <laughs> <laughs> then you must think I'm the devil. I said, no, but you'll do to the real one gets here. Down to Deion Sanders in a condescending tone, as if because of their skin complexion, they're far greater than who we are. And we look at them and deem them as intelligent. No, I don't care how I look and appear. I'm greater and far stronger than you in every way in life. More intellectual wits, all that. So the On3 Sports uh, um, CEO, Shannon Terry, after Dion asked a question, On3, what's going on? That's all he put. He didn't insinuate anything. He showed his love for Philip Dukes, who got fired by On3. So the CEO, instead of minding his own business, he tells Deion Sanders to mind his own business. Because ladies and gentlemen, this is bigger than football. It's deeper than football. It has always been about race. You can't hide from that. I'm not the one who started this. I'm the one who finished it and highlights what needs to be there. I'm not crying a river. You won't see me protesting about these things. We just have open dialogues and conversations that lead to a better resolution of me telling people who support us and Dion that stop paying attention to these people. I'll do it for you. I'll do it even better than crying about it. We're going to highlight who says what. So no narrative could be put out there for propaganda. Deion Sanders didn't disrespect this man, Shannon Terry. Shannon Terry has shown proof his On3 sports platform was designated with a new agenda for 2023 to 2024. Really even in 2022 and 2021, when Prime went down there to JSU. Oh, the negativity that they said about us, but they ramped it up soon as Deion took the job in Boulder. On three sports have been relentlessly printing out false information. They've been using God transfer players like Xavier Smith to 
demonized Deion Sanders with false allegations that's never been there. They were one of the main people reporting that Cormani and everybody in the locker room were gambling, lies about fights. They tried to make Colorado look like a ghetto wreck. <laughs> gambling lies about fights they tried to make colorado look like a ghetto wreck trash institution like they do to every university that has brothers in there and I, that's why i've been telling black brothers look out how they look at you because if they look at coach prime like this this is why a lot of these races fail to realize when you call out a Deion Sanders and you think you're doing better by hurting a Colorado football, you're letting all those younger generations of football. That's why I love this. You're letting those younger, melanated generational football players learn that the system doesn't like you at all. All these pundits hate your guts. They miss the glory days where it was everything Mayo Nation. When the Negrumps Nation hijacked the system with pure talents, pure genetics, it bothered a lot of people. We know the outdated stereotypes about black quarterbacks. You still see in 2024 what they try to say about Shador. These are the same guys that overhyped Sam Darnold, Baker Mayfield. Like, how, the, how on earth does Baker and Mayfield go number one? How does Daniel Jones go number six out of Duke University? And he was hot garbage in high school, hot garbage in college. But he went to a Peyton Manning camp, so the Giants drafted him. Even though this dude, Daniel Jones, was a late third-round pick and highest projected to be a fifth, I mean, a, um, a 25th second-round pick. The 25th selection in the second round at most highest, but he gets picked sixth pick in the first-round draft. Zach Wilson, number two in the draft. He did nothing at BYU, having struggle battles against Eastern Carolina. But the same people who said Shador and Colorado should be embarrassed by North Dakota, they're the same people on their knees talking about Zach Wilson wasn't the one to be blamed for Coastal Carolina loss against um, beating BYU. The, the excuse and the way they move the goal pay, post, that is. But on three sports, I'm glad your CEO has come out. And my I'm kids, make... man, they've been there every bit of the way. And most people ask me, what you going to do when they out? You know, y'all going to pros together? I say, you know what? A real father leads his sons. Right. He don't follow them. Mm -hmm. So I'm good. I'll be him. Mm -hmm. I ain't going nowhere. I'm straight. I love Boulder, Colorado. And I cannot wait to be going to the NFL and do their thing. But I'm not following my kids nowhere. Mm -hmm. I lead my kids places. Yeah. Five, ten years from now. Yeah. What do you see the family? The kids are being pros, and I'll be here. Mm. And you see the mountains behind us? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll see my head up there. Yeah. <laughs> Post that is. But on three sports, I'm glad your CEO has come out. I'm going to make him a movie star for the whole month. We're going to find all the dirt and every information with you. I'm not gossip with the T. I'm real nigga with the spill. You want to play this dirty game of fakeness and all that. Like I've been warning all you races, hide all your dirty dirt now. I'm more open than you vagabonds. I let the people know about my L's in life and my W's in life. I don't hide things. I don't portray to be so superior than others. That's what you guys do. So to look at Deion Sanders and how he grace, graces himself gracefully, shows proper decorum, and these Neanderthals can't even, the ones who call us the animals, they love calling us the animals, but majority of them are that. They are what they preach. They are what they spew out. They've been some of the most stenchful, awful, God-ridden people that have been plaguing this entire 
space. That's how I'm gonna put. It. That's how I'm gonna put it because I'm watching my words for YouTube. This entire space have shown you the core collectiveness on their mentality, the way they think, and they all don't even know each other, but they stick the code. One thing they know for sure, they will discredit anybody who they deem as lower than them, who they deem as unbecoming of them. They would call themselves the highest praises of the world while finding the most derogatory things to call you and placed on you because it sticks. If you don't call it out, guys, I'm not a professional victim. When you don't call these things out and I have a platform like this, these guys with bigger platforms will ingrain it in the mindsets of younger generational males who are melanated like me that this is what we are. So I don't do these videos to make other nations feel sorry for me. I precisely do these videos for anyone who want to be in tune to what's going on and also for younger generation of males to never feel like a victim. Never cry about this vagabond who hates you. This <laughs> Uh, don't even think. Uh, I'm trying. Gotta be bang. Don't even think. Yeah, I got time. Don't eat it. Yeah. Bitch, you gonna listen to what I say? Come on. Don't listen to what I say, cause when I end up. Come on. Bitch, you gonna listen to what I say, cause when I'm in the club, I celebrate. So you know what I say, cause I can wear the shit I know to me. Like the motherfucker that definitely on that crew to me. Like, I, 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 Fred, 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 what? Fred, 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 what? Fred. Generational of males to never feel like a victim. Never cry about this vagabond who hates you. This evil vagabond entity that roams from place to place, spreading their disease, mindsets, and illogical ideas. This have been this group's entire history. When you look at their history, that's majority of their mindset. And guys like me get shadow banned because we're not afraid. We have some intestinal fortitude. And I, I got some cojones. You feel me? Esperate por un momento, mamá. Ven aquí por un momento. Porque yo soy neglito. Dime, ¿de dónde eres tú? ¿De dónde eres tú? Where the fuck you guys are from? We can speak multiple languages, talk in many dialogues, but you think if I don't speak English and the way you nimcompoot speak English as, as some idea that me and Prime, because we speak with a Negro dialect and a Southern vernacular, now all of a sudden we're not as sharp and smart as you because you have a certain complexion. Do you have a stronger genetic makeup than me? Mindset than me? Intestinal fortitude than me? Exterior strength or interior strength? You don't have any of these. Go ask your wife and she'll tell you that. But we're not playing none of these games. I told you over and over, Stephen A. Smith has been tap dancing for On3 Sports. All I do is take the breadcrumbs and I align these things together. You can get mad at DJ Bless one all you want to. But at the end of the day, I have a sincere heart. I don't bother anybody. I stick to myself. I don't hang with a hundred friends. I raise my family, go to their games, and I give back to all my communities. All the football teams in Broward, in Jacksonville, in Tampa, in Georgia, all of Georgia, from Columbus, Georgia, to Macon, to Atlanta, and I don't want to thank you or a cookie. I've shown you relentless videos of people who know me in real life, who watches the channel, and I don't ever act like a celebrity. I just want the world to know we ain't going for none of that. You don't have to say, tell me sorry. I'm not one of these people from the, the AANCP, whatever you call them, during the civil rights era. No, thank you. I'm not going on my knees for no grown man. And you know what I'm tasting, Bobby? Okra? No. No, I taste victory. And I look around and I think we got a surprise of team. Blacks and whites and blacks and Mexicans. And... Oh, hell, there's a lot of blacks. Uh, the double A N C P, whatever you call them, during the civil rights era. No, thank you. I'm not going on my knees for no grown man and woman. I'm a man, goddammit. And I'm not about to wear no Martin Luther King sign talking about we a man. If I have to tell you I'm a man, I lost already. I'm going to force you to feel I'm a man. Whether you like me or not, I'm here to stay, baby. And I am going to make the room uncomfortable. 
Remember Drake said in that line, she's so thick, she make the room uncomfortable? Well, I'm so melanated, I make your whole ass activities uncomfortable. I make your generational ancestor, your coward evil generation of ancestors tremble when I look at me walking in the backyard right now. You can hear all the grand wizard bones shaking up right now. You can hear all the good old boys club. They have to construct a new plan and a strategic maneuver to take down guys like me because shadow ban don't work. Multiple channels I've had and I get the same energy and we build it back up because people like this raw and uncut vibration. They don't like none of that fabrication, code switching your voice so you can make them and appease them to be comfortable and accept you. Hell no. I got all my money in life off the Internet and on the Internet being me and worshiping the one true God, the most high. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm DJ Bless from the best one. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. Never, never in life forget, this is bigger than football. It's deeper than football because at the end of the day, accountability is the best ability. Too many of us don't have accountability. But when you have it like this, you got a great father, a great mother. My father's a minister. I'm a military man. I'm disciplined in every way. I have some shortcomings. But I am an example just like you all should be an example. I've took more in honor being an example than trying to be some weakness that falters around peer pressure. Hell no. I don't care. I don't even care what my neighbors think of me. This is the most refreshing way to live your life before you meet that casket. Because like Julio Fulio said, we all got to die one day. Everybody got a death date. And I'll be damned if I waste my time on earth cowering down, cowering down to the weakest group of haters and people amongst the walks of life. And if it don't apply, let it fly. Because blessed one don't give a damn. In fact, I don't even have a tissue to give to you right now. Have a great blessed day. <laughs> I've been so many times. I